so guys i have here with me oil and i also have in the other bowl a cream okay a lotion so i'm going to be showing you guys how you use xanthan gum to thicken a product this is xanthan gum for those of you who watched my share butter videos the videos i didn't um, add emulsifiers or anything to the share butters most of you said you tried it out i've been getting questions in my dm and the rest that you tried it out and then your share butter separates from the oils and how can you stop that and blah 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 so that is what inspired me to show you guys how you can use xanthan gum or even gua gum okay xanthan gum is a product thickener it also prevents your product from separating you can use it to thicken your lotions your oils your serums and combine okay you can use it in your lotions and the rest like this patterns to prevent them from separating and also to thicken them sometimes it even helps the butter not to melt okay so that is the purpose of this video so for those of you who have those questions to ask me i hope this video is able to answer your question one thing about xanthan gum is you don't use a lot otherwise you mess up your product completely like totally it's going to over harden so i'm adding my oil to the lotion okay so that will get a very lightweight consistency and then i'll show you guys how you can use xanthan gum so imagine this is your butter like the butters you guys said you watched me do where i added oils and serums so imagine here is your butter and you have added all your serums all your oils blah 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 and then you got this uh, lightweight consistency or even you just get a consistency that you like and you want to thicken that up or prevent it from separating so i'm transferring it into a different container so that you guys can see there's a different bowl you guys can see how lightweight how um kind of watery the lotion has become okay and then we'll now go ahead and then mix it okay i decided to transfer it into this container so that you guys can see what i'm doing very very well so you guys can see how watery this is looking how it is and everything so i'm going to be showing you how you can add xanthan gum to this to thicken it up okay note xanthan gum is meant to be used bits by bits if you add too much your product is going to over harden okay it's going to turn into a stone so you guys can see this amount of lotion i'm using less than half a tablespoon of xanthan gum this is like a pinch not not too small but not even up to a half a tablespoon of xanthan gum so this is like a teaspoon okay a teaspoon you can even use half teaspoon because this thing and one thing you should you should know is you don't add xanthan gum directly into the product it's going to cause some lumps and all that so you melt it okay with an oil or glycerin or yes if it is a, a different product that is water based you can use water to um melt your xanthan gum but this is a lotion so you use an oil or a glycerin or something and if, if you're using it in a lotion and if you're using it in an oil or serum you also use glycerin or an oil to melt your xanthan gum so i just added some uh, glycerin to the xanthan gum and i'll go ahead and mix it thoroughly together make sure everything uh, melts into the oil before we add it into our lotion because we don't want to see all these lumps and all in the lotion okay so that's just basically what i'm doing if you haven't watched those my butter videos i'll link i'll leave the links in the description box below so you go watch them out you go check them out so this is another way to taking up your product and even make your butter thicker and not separate if you don't want to add any bees wask or any emulsifying wax or anything to your butters but you want them to be thicker in consistency and not separate then this is the way to go okay so i've added my xanthan gum into my lotion and then i'm mixing that up okay you keep mixing and you start noticing changes in your cream or your lotion you guys can see that it has started thickening up it has started thickening up already so you keep mixing and mixing and mixing until you get the consistency that you are looking for okay we'll be doing that as well to a an oil so that you guys will see what i'm talking about especially when it comes to oil so um serums if you are not careful your oil will turn into a lotion because it's going to become extremely thick 
if you don't add the xanthan gum accordingly it's going to become extremely thick you guys can see how thick this has how thick the lotion has become already i'm still going to show you after some time the final look of this particular cream okay this is the work of xanthan gum so that is what you can use if you want your product to have this slimmery um yes slimmery kind of look like a gel you can use it in your shower gels you can use it in your body wash you can use it in your oils if you add two or three different oils together and you don't want them separating because it's not every kind of oil that can combine together so let's say you have this is an oil in a bowl you pour two different or three different you are mixing oils together and you don't want these oils to separate after some time you don't want one down and the other one up and all that you can use zantan gum to combine these two these two oils or serums together and also taking it up for you to look you know the car slimmer and all that so there are times i even combine different oils together so i added just a pinch of zantan gum to this other um cup and i added small glycerin to it so i'm mixing that together and then i'll add it to my oil that is the zantan gum okay you guys can see that i'm not using much at all okay just very little of zantan gum is a it's a it's, it's good to go you are good to go okay just a little bit and you are good to go okay so there are times i combine two three four five six seven eight nine ten different oils together and zantan gum to taking it up and i use it as a lotion for a period of time before even bouncing back to using any other cream that is how zantan gum has been helpful but if you are not good at using it if you are not careful it makes product you know it it, it, it it does a whole lot it helps you with your product formulation but if you're not careful it will as well spoil everything mess up everything for you okay so guys this is my silicone uh, uh, <laughs> uh this is my silicone uh spoon is i don't know it's stained with i used it in a turmeric uh scrap formulation and the stain is what is on it Okay, so just ignore that that's why the color of the spoon is like that so you guys can see i've added zantan gum to the oil after some time i'll stir up the oil so that you guys see the how thicker it has become and then our cream also as well guys this cream has become thicker okay kind of slimmery very smooth okay and i really love the consistency can you guys see that go back and check before come and look at after okay that very light uh watery lotion that we just poured into this bowl has become a very very uh thick cream okay and i love 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 this consistency depending on how you want your lotion or cream to be you add your xanthan gum accordingly and i hope this video has really been helpful if it has been helpful to you leave me comment down in the comment section share this video with call someone to watch this okay share it give me a thumbs up if you are new to my channel subscribe to my channel turn your post notification bell so you don't miss uploads from me okay i love you guys so 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 much so here is our oil you guys can see the oil has taken up okay has really taken up you, you watched it before right and here is the after and that's basically it for this video i'll see you very very soon in my next one